What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today, today it's finally happened. Y'all have been requesting it for years now. Years now. The agency years. The, the agency <laughs> Academy collab. Agency <laughs> Academy collab. Facts. I always get that. <laughs> really? In your conversation too? They said they said blunder, blunder. Did you fuck with the Academy? It's like I'm a student of the Academy. What are you talking about? <laughs> like I think people really don't know that you like people really don't know the history. They really don't know. Literally, like they, Blunder, they I, don't know how this this aura yeah, shit came about. They like, don't know. Crazy. But I mean, we'll give them a little rundown. I mean, for most That's people funny. don't know, but like I've technically known Blunder the longest. In, yeah. In, and I think of anybody that's left, you've probably known me the longest i don't think because it was like mr mew 72 like, yeah we're talking like yeah that's ages the oldest is back ages like near a decade yeah so it is you probably yeah no it is it is yeah i think for sure because we were in that same for sure. uh what was the name of that chat vg chat was that the name yeah video game chat Pokemon. yeah oh my yo guys and that shit was that <laughs> chat was crazy because it would show your ip address right next to your name i remember that chat yep. was mm -hmm. that's how that's how i know who was talking when y'all would change your names oh thanks. i'm like People nah nigga i remember name. your ip address <laughs> you got the same <laughs> ip stop lying <laughs> yo you just got smacked change your name looking for wi-fi bell get the fuck <laughs> out of here bro <laughs> Yo, you got the same friend code as the dude I just right, watched. Right, right, like, right. You pull up in the Wi-Fi lobby. Hey, I see your ass. Nah, especially because back then, you know, you you had like one core team. You're not having a uh, hundred teams yeah, on showdown dude. and stuff. Like you have your one Wi-Fi team that you go to war with every exactly every day, and then you breed mons. I think I think Pokegen was available back then, where you could GTS the mons. I mm -hmm, think that mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. that was around. That's how that's how I used to do it before I had the. Uh, um, action or whatever it was called the replay the, action the replay re uh, whatever we don't know the flash card what's it called ace card oh yeah 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 oh shit yeah, yeah. we're about to go remember down those? yeah we're about to go down remember, remember lane, those people. that's how we used to play that's how we used to hack on wi-fi um after gts uh because gts was before i had the uh ace card and then i got an ace card 2i which is the thing you can load the games on man oh I completely forgot about that. Like, guys, stay yeah, tuned. Stay tuned, cause this is about to be like he's starting to remind me of some shit that. That's what I'm saying. Even I didn't remember the Ace card until we were just talking. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, this is That's this is about to be like really, cause I think what's interesting is we I knew Blunder the longest, but we didn't become cool to probably like three years after I've known him, and so this is gonna be yeah. like a real. Yeah, that is true like history lesson of like how the community came to be as, as it is now competitively at least because originally yeah, that is true because it's 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 uh, uh no one else came from the place we came from and it's weird because it's like how did we get to that point when we started playing mons you know yeah i actually i'm curious i don't think i've ever heard your story of how you stumbled into comp mons and like the vg chat i know my yeah. end, but like i don't know how other people found it because back then shit was real primitive like y'all are real like yeah way primitive like y'all got discord groups and showdown and the, like y'all are, are and mad nowadays you have showdown so it's like why do you even need anything else like we didn't even have showdown back then nah right nah. even po was very underdeveloped yep and we i didn't even know what po was until 2011 or 12 so i think back then i didn't even have an understanding of competitive and by back then i mean when black white came out like 2011 so 20, it was 2011. 2011 yeah 2011 is uh yeah but i i liked i wanted to just collect shiny pokemon level 100 pokemon and shit mm -hmm. and then someone gave me a mon with max evs how old were you around uh, this time you were like 13 yeah i was 13 i think in 2011 yeah okay yeah crazy shit 13 yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 13 because i was in uh i was in middle school when uh when black and white came out i clearly remember i was in middle school when black and white came out because my dad went and got that shit for me yeah because i was a whole ass kid i remember yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga said, I was, I was you're, you forget you were a kid at one point like <laughs> yeah because i was like i was like i was like because I, I was like when did i get that shit i remember my dad bought that shit for me and i was like oh lit and i didn't even play pokemon like that but i uh i was like that oh so fun. that you weren't even like you didn't request that particular game 
Well, no, I did want that game because I had played platinum before that, but my cousin stole my platinum. Mm. Uh, cause my and so I like retired Pokemon after that because I was like cursed ass game. My shit got stolen last time I played it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then I got black and white. Um, and then someone traded me a mon with max EVs, and I was like, why is this Giratina so stacked? 500 HP, 300, <laughs> 300 attack, 300 defense. This shit mm. is so powerful. Uh, and then I learned about EVs. Um. And then I started playing on the uh, Gen 5 Battle Subway. Uh, you know the Wi-Fi? Uh, vaguely, on, vaguely. Yeah, so Gen 5 had a Wi-Fi ladder. Um, so you could play singles, uh, three on three, mm -hmm. or you could play the triples rotation. So oh, I yeah, would play bullshit. both a lot. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I had damn near 1,000 games on my singles oh, and no, on my I rotation. Believe I believe it. Yeah, and that was on the Wi-Fi ladder. So if I find those games... Um, maybe I could find that if it's possible to connect, uh, or it's maybe it's on my trainer card or something, but yeah, in my gen five game, I have so much on the, uh, and back then I would try everything, right? You could use, uh, so that's how I basically learned everything. Um, I would go on the smoke on analysis, um, and I, I would test these things out on the three V three singles ladder. Um, so I'd have like Blaziken and, you know, I'd use focus sash, um, because that's how I'd be teaching myself like, oh. This is how I'll kill his mon, and then the next one will come out before I lose mine. Shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I was using Focus Sash, Mammal Swine. Everything was Focus Sash for a while. Right. right. <laughs> um, but that way, I, I was able to try all these different mons, knowing what was crazy. That's how I learned like Blaziken was broken because I was like Speed Boost because I, I lost to it once, and I was like, Speed no, no, Boost, speed, speed Boost was is Gen Five. Yeah, yeah, speed Gen Boost Five is Gen Five. You're right. Gen You're Five right. Blaziken, yeah. And so that's that's how I realized it was broken because I'd never seen it before. Um, and then from there i started playing on the uh i found the vg chat because i wanted mm -hmm. to just learn more i guess and i looked at mm -hmm. pokemon chat room trying to trade more pokemon oh you just googled and, uh, it yeah yeah hmm and so then from there it is like my mind was like it's crazy to think back now you know who would have thought i'd have a I think the craziest thing for me, like future, we're not gonna jump too far into the future. Um, but like, I literally remember, this is in Jamaica, like, you know what I mean? This is me, talk about kid, I might have been 10, I might have been nine, like I'm talking young. Uh, and I remember my neighbor had, back then we were, either, I didn't have the fanciness of like a DS or anything like that. Um, it was the battery powered Game Boy Advances. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. Um, Blunder, yeah, of course. Blunder's Mad Rich Wealthy, so you might not know. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Stacked, of course. Uh, Stack Brown. But, you know, <laughs> privilege aside, uh, he. <laughs> privilege aside, you're going to be fucked up right now. <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah, that was, that was it. And so I remember, like, I'd scrounge up whatever kind of, you know, $20 or whatever it was, because, you know, currencies are different. Um, to get two pairs of batteries and I'd be on that uh, I think it might have been yellow uh, and and I was like holy sh it, dude words cannot describe and the nostalgia is hitting me hard right now mm -hmm. the feeling of going in the grass and like seeing the thing on TV like because initially we, we saw Pokemon on TV first yeah. and so I'm like oh fuck like I'm about to have a butterfree like ash you know what I mean yeah. and just like training the shit going through wild grass and i'm like oh fuck and then i caught it. It, it there was just a rush at nine years old the idea of creating your own adventure creating your team blah 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 and obviously Definitely. you're not exposed to graphics and whatnot yet because i maybe at that point only gen 3 was out um and so like from there dude i think it may have been two more years before like, cause that wasn't my game. I just played it, and I was like, "Oh shoot, I should sneak off." And I'd sneak off to go over my uh, house, and you know, sneak a couple more, like. But you know, you could only have one save file, so I can't, like, you know, you can't. There's only one save file, um. And so from there, dude, that was my first taste. And then I think really what reconnected me was in the seventh grade. Actually, um, I saw my some other kids playing Pokemon. And they had like leaf green and shit and they were trading and blah 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 
and again i i didn't at the time i didn't have any games my parents weren't balling like well they could have gotten it but they just weren't about to spend whatever it would have costed to get me a game for nothing um and so i was like okay cool cool and that's when i discovered emulators because around that time there was a computer yeah. in the house for the first time yep and bro when i tell you Shit. hopped on ruby I hopped on, and I remember the Damn. dude. I remember the day came home. I don't remember who taught me about emulators, man. But I, I downloaded the Game Boy Advance emulator on my like I'm talking like old school computer, and I will never forget opening up Ruby. I was like super pumped, and <laughs> you, you know in Ruby like you're about to get dropped off on the truck. Oh yes, in the beginning, right? The opening scene. And my, that moment changed my life, man. Like. Cause it, it was like, and then I saw like this is remember my version of Pokemon is is like yellow, like the old ugly graphics, such and such. And so when I saw a uh, fucking Ruby dude, oh man, I played that game. So, like I don't think I played any other game other than Pokemon since that. Like this was maybe when I was twelve, thirteen. Like I just and then I heard about Emerald and I just downloaded everything and I played the old shits like a hundred times over and over and over and over, like, dude, every day, and so from there got into it and so competitively this was before I moved to the U.S. So it's 2010. You know, I'd I'd be in high school. This is around ninth grade and my friends I'd want to play with them, and. You know they'd have some games, but I, we're not. We didn't level up to the DSs yet because Wi-Fi just yeah. being around wasn't super common. And so, like, we had link cables, and so niggas would go home, train the fuck up, like. And I, <laughs> I, but level hundreds was, would take way <laughs> too grind, long. Bro. I'm telling you, bro. But level hundreds were because you remember you had it like rare, rare candy up to level. So I think. I think they may have had an auto adjust to level 50 back then. I don't remember, but I think we played around either level 50 or like level 60 ish. And I think the nature, the levels were uneven. So you, if you didn't get the time, you're playing with that level 50 at Alakazam. Like nobody gives yeah. a fuck <laughs> versus my level 60 Groudon. But I think <laughs> you gotta like there was like a cap. Probably like don't go to level 90, dude. We're, that's some bullshit. You know, so we probably capped it yeah. out to where you could still evolve your Salamence or evolve your Dragonite and stuff like that. So probably around, everybody's around level 50. I think when you mm-hmm. caught Kyogre and stuff in the game, they were like either level 60. They were, they were like around there. So I'm like, all right, cool. But, dude, yeah. the law, you never use a move. One, two things I remember to think back to that time. Like, you never use, um, never use the same move. So, like, there's no way in hell you'd have Scald and Hydro Pump on the same. Like, Scald didn't exist, but <laughs> you, you got to have four that, different that moves. Four different coverage <laughs> moves. Bro, I used to roll around with Dragonite, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Surf, Thunderbolt. That's the only way. You, uh, you have bro, to have only. No, bro, 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 bro. And these, and these kids would come up. These, these kids would throw a Torterra and Polion in front of I got I gotta move for all of you. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, I mean, you felt like a god, like moving through there. <laughs> you like peons. God. Like my 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 thing was <laughs> bro, literally peons. Bro, did you have a move that like I had phases where I was like either really fascinated with a particular Pokemon. Because the two laws are never use the same move. And you never use anything that wasn't an attacking move. So shit like Stealth Rock? Never. <laughs> never. Back, stealth, stealth Rock? Stealth Rock? I didn't even know what the fuck that was. Yeah. Sword Dance? Sword Dance and all that, that stuff as well. I didn't know what that Why was. Why would I Sword Dance if I could attack? Why would I Sword Dance if I could attack you twice? Man, use your head, stupid. Right. <laughs> that was literally the logic. That's why I'm so like, when I see new people saying like, really, like, I don't say stupid, ignorant, because you don't know. Like, yeah. I just chuckle because I'm like, I remember when that was me. He just doesn't know any better. So I'm not, like, angry anymore. Or like, Now, I look at some games, and it's like, I switched five times to get off rocks. And it's like, damn. I think back to the days where it was like, fuck that. Yeah. Draco, <laughs> Draco, I just saw what Draco Media did. Uh, dead. Dude. You, well, yeah, the yeah. question. Did you have a phase where you had, like, a one move, you teach everything, uh-huh. or you had, a um, like, a one Pokemon that you were just obsessed with? Yeah, I was obsessed with my elemental Dragonite. I used that <laughs> shit for a very long time, and I thought it was like the best mon ever. Um, and just I was very fascinated with mods that could go mixed. Um, 
so Infernape, shit like uh. that, with just like very vast move pools. I thought that shit was like so insane. Um, so I loved mods that could lo learn Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt. Ah, uh, so, I know what so you're I talking like, about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's, you know, there's some mods that can learn all of those or variations of all of those. Like Ape, for example, could run Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, uh -huh. Ice, shit like that. Yeah. So, um, I was obsessed with that. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Just brought back yeah. some. Mine was like and it's super random. Aqua Tail. I remember my bar my uh, Ooh, my friend. That's a good ass move. But like Aqua Tail was remember back then, like if if you're transitioning from Gen 3 to Gen 4, there's like cause platinum was my transition. Yeah, yeah. And so there are a ton of new shit that I'd only see on TV, but I didn't have a DS. <laughs> and so my friend allowed me to borrow his DS and I went home and fucked the platinum up. Like I fucked that <laughs> shit up. Uh, I fucked the <laughs> shit up. Bear hours. Bro, like fuck the platinum up, man. Uh and so like, bro, Aqua Tail, Leaf Blade and Zen Head, but like well not not Leaf Blade. I remember I used to love weird fucking shit that shit isn't supposed mm -hmm. to learn. Like, if 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 you could breed, like something that like let's say Gallade could learn Leaf Blade. I'm like, what the fuck is not a grass type? It's I, and then at that point, you gotta remember Leaf Blade was not heavily distributed. I think Sceptile was like the only. It was damn near a signature move. Like only Sceptile yeah. could get that shit. And so I'm like, yeah. yo, Gallade is just really cool. And guard coming out of third gen, Gardevoir. It has another form, uh, and so, <laughs> and it learns a signature move. This is the greatest thing of all time. And so, Lucario, yeah. Blaze Kick. Oh, it's it was fucking over, man. I would, my Blaze Kick Lucario was my pride and joy. Like, the fact that a Steel type could Blaze Kick and it's Blaziken signature move back then, and then you know, cause back then people don't realize Leaf Blade and shit was not distributed. Like, like Blaze Kick was not. That was Blaziken's shit. Like it was the first fighting fire type. Yeah. Only it, and so afterwards, Infernape came around, and then fighting fire. You know, that's when they did that line for three gens. But like Blaziken was the OG. You didn't have his type before, and so Blaziken, yeah, Blaziken was a very impressive mod. Very awesome moves too. Oh yeah, Sky Attack, Sky Uppercut was his. Sky thing Uppercut, too. Really yeah, that was his move, man. And even his level up moves were so fire. Like he was the mod. Like. Like for real, like, wasn't yeah. Nah, um. But what, what is uh? So like, let's say post VG chat. How did you even get into? Because I remember at a little point, you uh transitioned from VG. You know, like both of us mutually knew Mister Mew seventy two, which is a guy. I wonder it'd be dope to run into him to see what he's up to these days. But um, that's just crazy. Blunder and I did not get along at the beginning because like well I don't remember the reason the fret the VG chat uh I think at the time I just thought this guy's a poser like he ain't good like I, I, at that time I'm thinking it's, I <laughs> it, that's just how the shit goes down it's 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 as simple as that it's yo he says he's good but he's shit yeah like, literally, <laughs> it, that's like that's like what it boils down to like he thinks he's good but when I pull up yeah, yeah, I look yeah for a battle I don't see his name I beat him <laughs> nah nah this is how it would go like Man, he ain't that good. I beat him. Like that's how the logic would go. You beat him, therefore he's not good. Or that he thanks. thinks he's so good, but I beat him. Uh, you know what? Let's play right now. That's it. Would be like pull the fuck exactly. up. Exactly. Like I'm not trying like, to hear up. no talking. Pull the fuck up. Let's battle right the fuck now. And if you lose, you better leave that motherfucking chat. Cause I'm about to tell <laughs> everybody. That's really how it went back. Oh, that's just just crushed Resh. Uh, <laughs> just crushed them all everybody getting put dude that's how it was it was a very uh but that's how mods always is that's how games are so you want to show that you're the best you want to show your team you built is the strongest because back then it wasn't even really like stealing teams you'd make your nah, own teams too nah you couldn't steal teams like you really yeah couldn't. you really couldn't you, you you put shit together you just gotta be like making up your own shit um and like you know because it's not like i was like no but back then i actually do remember like using the maryland uh team composition thing to see what my team was weak to making sure i had to resist to everything mm -hmm. fire water grass that type of shit mm -hmm. it was crazy man oh i didn't even know you knew about I, you know i didn't find out about maryland to like way after my journey uh the killer nacho was who brought me into it but i'll get into that in a little bit like because i'm that's from 
Because I'm, I'm assuming at this point you didn't know about like YouTube Pokemon yet, right? Did you? I learned about YouTube Pokemon, I want to say in 2011. And I want to say I learned about it the exact same time um, I started playing. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'd say I found out about it uh, like the exact same time I told you I found out about like EVs and IVs and I just started learning. Uh, and I watched Shofu and Mudquaza a shit ton. Mudquaza, I've and, never heard of and, him. Yeah, he's he was really good. Um, well, I don't know, battler wise, he was good, but uh, he would uh, he had the he had a fire narrations and he had really good video quality. And the Shofu was, was who I think is the best Poketuber ever. So I would always watch his because he was just the most entertaining. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I remember Killer Killer Nacho for me was just the first person I've ever seen. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck. What the <laughs> fuck? You, I literally, I, I swear I could have recorded my reaction as like, like, you can, what the fuck? You can play it like for people all over the world. Like, I, I literally, <laughs> and so after that, I was like, I had this at this point, I was in America. This was like, I came to America 2010, like, yeah, like really late 2010, November. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, what the fuck? And so now I'm in the U.S. I have access to reliable um, Wi-Fi, all that stuff, and so it's I'm, time to battle. Yeah, I'm like, it's time to pull up. I'm like, pops, for my birthday, all I need, all I need. This was an art heart gold soul silver just came out. I'm like, listen, listen, you never got me. Like, all I need <laughs> is that DS, and he got me a 3DS uh, XL. And I, all Ooh. I need is that. No, actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. I needed, I just got, I just wanted the cartridge because my little cousin, man, I fucked her DS up. Like, I feel bad now. <laughs> like, I played that shit so fucking much that it broke. <laughs> you know what? You put too many hours in, you broke this shit. You know, I don't remember how it broke. Like, it didn't break in like uh in like a, <laughs> like it overheated or something, but it literally like, like broke. And I still played it. Yeah. I had to hold it at a certain angle to for yeah. it to work. Like that's how bad it got. Um, yeah. <laughs> but she rarely used it, and so I was like, <clears throat> "Just please, just get me this heart gold soul silver for Christmas." And once I once I acquired it, oh man, it was a wrap. And so that's when I went on the YouTube thing. I was like, "Oh," and so I'm subscribing at that point. I'm sure this is a case. Subscribe to everybody. Everybody can catch this subscription. If you play Pokemon and you narrate, everybody catches subscription. And so, like, that was all I was subscribing to. YouTube was still kind of young to me. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like, I don't know if that was the same for you, but at that pre prior to that, I wasn't, like, making YouTube accounts and stuff like that. It was just, you know, just whatever. Um, now, obviously, YouTube has evolved a lot more to where people, like, like subscribe knowing like okay boom this content creator i want to see their stuff frequently but back then yeah. it was just like you go wherever your interest was yeah um and so that's facts so then from there from rush to maryland so how did you get into contact with like, finding out about po and the idea mirror i downloaded po um, I don't know. I don't know how I found out about PO. Probably just through Smogon. Um, seeing people. Wait, how did you find out about Smogon? How did you transition from VG to Smogon? Did you know about oh, Smogon well, back then? I, well, I, well, after I got traded on with Max EVs, um, I just looked, googled the shit and then came to Smogon analysis. Um, and I read a bunch of Smogon analysis. Um, and then from there, I guess I must have got on their forum. Um, so read the RMT section a lot because at that point I started stealing teams because you know me I've always loved to steal teams you know that um, I've always been a big ass team thief so I would go on the RMT section and look for shit I like um, and people you know they'd post like oh peaked number one or ranked number five and I'd be like fuck you mean ranked and then uh, they'd post screenshots and so then from there I found out PO and I was like oh this is epic I can test out all these teams mm -hmm. and I can just play on my computer I don't even need to play on my DS anymore mm -hmm. And then from there, I was like, I remember I would come on the VG chat and be like, yo, y'all are shit. I play on PO now. I literally remember coming on there and still being and being like, yo, I play on this ladder now. I'm about to peek on this ladder, like blah, blah, blah. Like just talking bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, but yeah, and then from there I was like, well, this is more fun. I can play way more games. I can play with whatever mods I want, and I can play whoever. When like it, it was just like no contest to me. Mm-hmm. And then then I made the the transition, and I just was like, all right, well, I'm done with the site. Um, Which site? And then oh, you mean VG, VG chat? Okay. Yeah, and then I just played on a uh, PO for a few months. Then I met uh, Moet, CTC, Case, Valentine, all of them. Hugo, why would they talk to you? I met. Okay, I met. Uh, okay, the first person I met was Moet, just in a battle, and I don't know why, but we were just talking in the battle. It doesn't even make sense, cause like, again, like this is when I have no. I'm not even. A, I don't have an understanding of the game really at all either. Like I'm a 1200s, 1300s player on PO. <laughs> garbage. Yeah. So, so that's like, yeah, you garbage, right? Yeah. You let's like five oh six oh on the ladder, right? Um, and uh, I don't know. Me and Moet are talking because I think he he used his RMT or some shit, or I don't know what we were talking about, man. I, I don't know what it was. Probably like a team or some. I mean, it was some Pokemon shit, right? Um, but then Case Victory was there too, you know, Case. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's one of my OGs too. And then he hung. He and Moet were like friends or some shit, and we were all just like talking, and then. I, they were like, you got Skype, and I was like, no, oh yeah, so <laughs> that's really then, how she used to be. Like, and I was like, no, I don't have Skype. And like, you should make Skype. And I was like, I made a Skype. And then they added me to this group with them. See, this is before uh, IDM existed, right? This was just a friend group. So this was back when, like, you know, John said if that SF right, 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 right. Uh, uh, Hugo, CTC, Problems, Edgar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, Joey wasn't even in the group at this point. No. Nah. Um, Joey didn't come until like six months later, uh, when I added him. Um, and yeah, and so then I didn't even know any of these guys, right? And they were oh, like, oh, so, we so you knew CTC before you knew Joey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so the first people I met were Moet and Case Victory, and then just a couple of days later, I met Valentine, CTC, Hugo, all of them, and then me and CTC obviously became friends, um, <laughs> like instantly. Wow, that you know yeah. the Skype part really, that really how you know it's crazy now, because that's part of why I you know I, I set up the academy the way it is, is because yeah. that that like, I don't want to say innocence, but like the that kind of purity, it's is I don't I I don't I can't say it's gone because I don't know who's talking to who these days and and how many Discord groups Skype groups exist, um. But there was like a like a purity to just hey bro you got skype how add you and skype like even if you just met this random person there was no Dude, like exactly weirdness exactly. nowadays be like yeah nowadays be like yo add me i'd be like the fuck right <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like like because i think back then like everybody just like there was no ulterior motive there was no like the game was still very green like I, everything was still very yeah. green and so like you made somebody the community, cool on the ladder. Community Atlanta. wasn't even developed, really. Nah, you're like yeah. there was no like, I think I'm this, and you know, well, somewhat, but but like people were more open to things. So, for example, today, it'd be rare for somebody, particularly on Small Gun or wherever, who who sees somebody on the ladder to be like, oh yeah, join our. Well, I can't, again, I can't say I'm just you know. Um, Oh yeah, you know somebody who perceives themselves as a top player to just meet a random guy on the ladder and be like, "Yo, come on into the group. Well, let's teach you how to mm-hmm. play." Like, you know, there's this kind of segmentation of, you know, I think I'm a top player, so now I don't associate with you plebs, kind of thing. Uh, back then, you weren't like, "Oh, I'm." I had to cut, had to cut off all my old ones. Yeah, like, like, oh no, I'm, not, I'm a 1600 now. I can't associate with you 1400ers. Like, that's not, that's not, that wasn't the energy. It's like, oh, you cool, bet. Nobody really cared. In fact, they might encourage you. Part of the reason would be like, oh, bet you, you know, you probably skilled. Let's add him. I think when IDM was really like a clan, clan, they were more like, oh, this guy's good. Let's recruit. But. I think before that it was more like, oh, you know, you cool peeps. Let's 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 hop in a call and play and just just let's just play. And I think a lot of the the top players that came about weren't originally top players, but we like 
the, the like the it'd be like if LeBron and and KD and all of them were went to the same middle school, but they didn't. Obviously, they weren't the goats then. They were just all associated with each other, and so they all like shared the same mindset, same you know competitiveness, all of that. And so later on, the ton of them are in the league, and you could say, okay, well, where did that start? It's like, nah, they were like. They were together before they're who they are. And so, like, I mean, Hugo was always a beast, but, like, you know. Yeah. Like, Case was, was straight. But Case was, I think Case got better over time. Um, I don't know what CGC was at that point. Or John. Or I don't remember who else was in the group. But, like, the Skype part. And we'll touch on that if you're listening. The Skype part. Cause that's how I met Joey Blunder, yeah, Rick Chimp, AJ. AJ. Like they don't know AJ, but I'll, I'll tell them about that in a sec. But yeah. nah, so you get got from IDM, you got from there to IDM, and then yeah, Skype. So when did the? Cause I mean, clans started to come about. I remember IMP and all this shit. So I uh, so I started playing PO in like 2012. Uh, 2012. Were you going summer. to YouTube this time? Because I remember we. Yeah, I started making Wi-Fi videos, but then my computer broke, so I just stopped posting. Okay. Um, but then I started posting Wi-Fi. He punched his computer uh, and he broke. By the way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I punched my computer and it broke. Was that the time um, you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're trash. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was mid. I wasn't even good, right? You're trash. Playing DPP. You're trash. Yeah. Imagine fucking your shit up over a DPP game. Yeah. Must have been smoking on crack. Yeah. Anyway, um, I uh, right. So I started playing Mons on the ladder, um, and I will say this: mm-hmm. literally, as I had started playing, and I had just been playing for a couple of weeks, I had become friends and added on Skype. And I'll say the environment of the people I was around obviously made me better because I was around people who I consider to be like the best players ever, mm-hmm. like CTC Hugo and them. I consider. And I mean, like, we're some of the best players ever, too. It's yeah, just how it is. Yeah. And it's like, and I just remember, like, come, like even back then, they were very good. And so, like, I had access to, like, teams. Um, and just, like, when you're around that type of environment, you learn very fast. Yeah. So, I remember I got seventh on the ladder in, uh, first was November that year. Um, 2012. When, this is all you? 2012. Yep, OU. Genesect came out, and that's how I did it. I, I used Genesect, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm trying yeah. to remember what area uh, this was. Yeah, so it was a Genesect rain team. With Genesect, Politoed, Slow King, which is why I loved it, because Slow King was my favorite Pokemon. Um, and so that was, like, the coolest thing to me at the time. Because I got 7th on the OU ladder using my actual favorite Mon in OU. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to me, I was like, whoa, this is super epic. Right. So it was like it was like yeah, Jirachi, Landorus, Ferrothorn, Genesect, Politoed, Sloking. I want to say, um, and it was a Spec Sloking. It was an epic team. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I got seventh on the ladder with that. And Moet actually built that team. Moet and my boy Valentine built that team in five minutes. And they were like, "Use this, this is, fun." This is not Valentine. This is not like. This isn't the other Valentine, right? This isn't like I keep getting banned, Valentine, right? Um. It's uh, what other alt does he have? Valentine from IDM. I'm trying to think. Am I might think of? You know Valentine on Smogon that we kept. I yeah, kept getting back. He got banned. Is that the same That's Valentine? The same one. Same okay, one. Okay, yeah. Okay. Same one. Yeah. You know who I'm thinking of? Zamog. Was it? Was that his? Not Zamog. Oh, uh, Zamrock. 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 That, that's a different guy. Yeah, I'm thinking of Zamrock. Oh yeah, fuck, that's... Zamrock. That's yo, a different guy. Oh shit! Oh, go ahead. The times have changed. Same right, yo. Yeah. So <laughs> Moet and Valentine built that team for me, or they just built it and passed it to me. I did go on the ladder with it, and then around that time, I was like, "What clan should I join? IMP or MVP?" And IMP was full of a bunch of losers. Um, it had the best, like they had the highest ranks, but it was a bunch of boosters, and all their players were fucking losers. Um. With the exception of IMP Adam, the rest of those dudes were suckers. So I didn't want to join their whack ass lineup. And so then CTC was like, join MVP. It's all real ones. And I think MV was also an MVP. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if he was in it at that time. I feel like he probably was. 
yeah, I think Envy was an MVP mm-hmm. at the time, or maybe he was in the gang. But I know Envy was an MVP at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, so I joined that clan. Cause CTC was like joined my clan MVP, and then we joined it. Oh, and CTC so I was, like, okay, was an MVP at that time. Yeah, and so the 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 rank you needed for MVP was fifteen fifty. Um, oh yeah, that's how those things used to work. Right, right. right. And IMPs was sixteen hundred. So I didn't want to do mvps because i was like i'm 1600 though and i want to flex i'm an imp but imp was full of such fucking suckers dude and i was like i cannot join this whack ass team uh this is like the wackest team ever even if they have the the, the highest qualifications mm-hmm. so i joined mvp and then a month or two later there was a call in the in our skype whatever it was called probably some like horrible shit um and i think the guys were like yo imp is such a stupid clan all these clans suck because half the guys were in imp remember Mm-hmm. So it was basically like me, CTC, uh, Valentine, or an MVP, and then like Hugo Problems were all in IMP, uh, and they were like, dude, I, and they were like, IMP is bullshit or whatever, and they were like, fuck it, let's make our own clan, and so then, little known fact, IDM in this mom, bro, I I thought of the name, let it be known, I did, I'm the one who said let's call it in this mom, IDM. I mean that sounds then they like really, a 13 year old like. <laughs> well, no, because Indus mom, Indus mom was CTC's thing. Oh, he used okay. to always say, "I'm Indus mom," which is like so immature. Oh, but CTC, CTC has grown like 16, 17, C- yeah. CTC has grown a lot since. Like when I think about like 2013, C- oh god, like but no, go ahead. I, I'm just thinking <laughs> back, like Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so then I remember I had an alt on PO that was like IDM something, and it was like my fake alt. And then CTC was like, they're gonna think you're me and ban you. Um, he was because banned. CTC used to, always get, he used to always get banned on PO. And then I used to also get banned on PO. Oh, I forgot about that. We were fucking fugitives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Yo, y'all, fuck. y'all fuckers were like some. Tr- like, Just why were you getting so banned? Yo, I, I remember. Yo, that's crazy. I don't remember if I knew you when you were like banned. Like, I'm yeah. trying to remember. I think I might have known you uh, back then. Yeah. They banned me for like four years from PO. Oh, fuck. and then finally I was like unban me and they were like you are the number one biggest evader on PO you will never be unbanned and I was like fuck y'all and then they finally unbanned me but it was like who cares Bruh, nobody a- nobody plays on this shit anymore <laughs> oh this was when it was dying out yeah I got banned in 2013 cause I shit talked some guy after he shit talked me and then uh oh yeah, fuck I, like, <laughs> Yeah. Yo, this shit is starting and, to come back. And then they were like, okay, you're banned. And then they banned both of us. And I like lied. And I was like, I didn't even say that shit. That shit's all fake. He said more shit. Get him banned. And they were like, facts. We'll ban him again. And then they were like, wait, you lied. You didn't, like, you actually were talking mad shit. And I was like, oh, what? And they banned me um, for like t- two months. And I was like, fuck that. And then uh, I started evading. And then I had a YouTube channel. So they would just see me on PO every day on my YouTube channel. And I'd be like, suck my dick. Um, I'm just going to keep evading on different alts. And so I would breeze through different VPNs all summer and all year, dude. Blunder was, was a crazy. fucking loser back then. Jesus. What are you talking you about? Were... I wasn't a loser. I just talked shit on the ladder. Nah, I remember... Jenna would also talk shit on the ladder. Nah, but like, I- I'm trying to like, you You made me think back to, I completely forget. forgot the ban of it. Like you were literally like the meme was, but I'm trying to remember, did I know you? Cause that, that oh. I don't, I'm like, did I? Cause I remember, I remember like, so let's not skip this one, right? You know, this was so there was also an error called with the smoke on Wi-Fi battle finder. So there was still a time where even after PO, um, YouTubers would still h- upload hella Wi-Fi battles. It's, it's probably t- when Gen Six came out that Wi-Fi really, really died out. But um, I battled Blunder because at this point we were beefing. Like I'm like I don't fuck with you, but fuck this dude, and I don't remember why. Oh yo yo, I think I think I remember. I'm trying to remember. I think we started our YouTube channels really close to each other. Like started uploading. Yeah, I think we did. Um, we were both new on the scene. There were just a, a flood of people. There was this channel called Pokemon Mosh Pit back then for the audience. Oh yes, of course. That you'd upload like a wild chase would it was wild chase NBZ like quote unquote the big YouTubers ran it and at that point if you had ten thousand you're a massive monster that can't be stopped within the community like if you had five thousand up 
like you were a juggernaut. Because at that yeah. point, I think Shofu was the biggest, and he had 30,000. Yeah, uh, Shofu was on Shofu the Bull. And so, yeah, like, he was, like, the biggest uh, sub-wise YouTuber. Um, and so, or, or Hayden. Hayden was pretty big, too. So, oh, Hayden was great. Hayden and Shofu. And so, like, you know, but Joey was, like, 4K. Um, and Joey was a juggernaut in the community with his 4K. A oh, big YouTuber like Joey. Sour Boss had 1,000 barely. He was a big YouTuber. Our Chisel. Our Chisel I had maybe 6,000. And so Blunder, I think, was coming up. And I think he hit uh, around 1,000 around that time. And I was like, maybe yeah. like three. It took me a year to hit 1,000 subs. Really? I thought it was. It took me one full year. Yeah. Because I remember uh, you got cool with, I think you knew the crew before me but i don't remember how no i didn't know those guys very well you didn't know joey before well i knew joey but, but joey knew everybody I wasn't else that tight with joey until like actually no i was tight with joey pretty early on that's true actually yeah because i remember how yeah. i know is joey added you to our group so what eventually happened is with the idm thing and whatnot uh, is that the Draco group or the yeah, Drazo group? Yeah, remember I think, that was huge. I think I think Weepon added me to that group. One of them, one of them added you. Cause he was in that group too. Yeah, actually, you're right. It was Pone that added you because yeah, because but at that Midnight time, Twilight. yeah, oh, this oh, shit. But let, let's hold off on it because I'm like, you really just brought Blunder was a piece of shit. I'm trying to remember. I'm like, God damn, bro. Like, no wonder I didn't like you back then. I'm like looking back. Like he was top five most toxic motherfuckers on the ladder. Like, I, kick your, <sighs> kill your cat. I remember some fucked up shit. Oh, you shit. remember that I, shit? I, yeah. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I know exactly what you're talking about. We, I know exactly. Yeah, bro, I was toxic. Yeah, bro. Like, no cat. But it's crazy because yeah. we're cool now. I forgot who you were. You know, like Envy, it was um, no saint either. Remember, we used to make the jokes about Envy and his like draw, because you could draw on PO. And Envy would be yeah. like, like Envy would say some dumb shit, like, "Oh, my sister is about to, you know, hop off the oh roof." I was, <laughs> like, oh, I was so toxic, dude. I was the king of you get no pussy, blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, like, virgin, <laughs> blah, blah, like, bro. Virgin, you get no pussy, blah blah blah. blah. Oh my god, I was bad. I was bad. Like, and this is when I was a like a, like a fourteen year old. Yeah, like, <laughs> you had like serious anger. Like I was no saint. I love talking shit, but like you would have to talk shit to me first. It'd be rare. But if you said some shit to me, the like I was not who I am today. Whereas like, if you talk some shit to me in that chat, oh I'm coming. And that's why uh, me and Blunder met on the Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and fuck that nigga up with my sub scyther. Fuck that nigga up. And he'll never, I'll never let him forget that game. This was before we were cool. Yeah. And it was RU, man. I was getting into RU and put together this a crazy EV set could take skulls, blah, blah, blah. And so I finally, because you had to wait like forever. You put up your battle and you had to say like looking for RU battle or something. And then you wait until somebody accepted your challenge. You'd be at that computer all day waiting for that challenge to get accepted. And then you type in the chat. And all this shit. And so, you know, once you start the battle, friend code exchange, blah, 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 the person could just disconnect. Like, if the, there was no points you got, like, you could be playing the whole game. And if he's losing, he'll just disconnect. Uh, I'm not trying to have that on my win-loss record, blah, blah, blah. Like, and that's bro. just the game. <laughs> and so... You gotta hold that. You just had... That, that used to be so... Fun. And, yo, niggas would be mad. Yo, if you were a known disconnector, bro, you will be blackball out of Hollywood. Let me tell you this right now. Yeah, if you're, a di if you're a disconnector, you better be a good liar. Oh, bro. Because they then in the, in the like, the request, they'd be like, don't play such and such. He's a disconnector. Yes, 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 yes. You'd be exposed in the request itself. They'd be like, yo, he is a complete sucker. And fact, facts. <laughs> but, like... And the reason I'm saying with the toxic shit, but not not so much around that time, because Blunder was cool in the chat. He just DC'd. But, like, I was tight about it, because I'm like, this motherfucker right here. And I saw, I knew Mew knew you, and I think you added me. Like, around that time, we started slowly starting to kind of, like, you know, we weren't beefing as hard. And so... True. 
I, I think I messaged you on Skype. I, somehow we were on Skype together. And yes. I was like, bro, did you just disconnect? Oh, nah, bro. That wasn't me. That was, I was like, this yes, nigga is yes. a liar. I said, that, I said that wasn't me. Oh, I'm too hard. I, but I knew your username. And so, like, you yeah, couldn't hide so it. I was like, yo, I was like, did this dude just catch me out on <laughs> Skype? Yo, back up. <laughs> like, nah, bro, that wasn't me. I swear. It's like, bro, that That's was awful, you, bro. bro. I, so I was like, all right. Because I was maybe 15 at this point. Like, I was just a couple years older than, but like, maybe two and a half years. So I was like, you know, bro, what the fuck? You know, blah, 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 blah. So I left it alone. And so that was, like, probably the last time I interacted with Blunder. So Blunder, like, was out for me. Because when we uploaded to Pokemon, I uploaded the first time to Pokemon Mosh Pit. I swear I try to find this video to this day. I don't know if they deleted the channel. But no, it's the top fucking oh comment. God. The Pokemon Mosh Pit? Hmm? Bro, I remember. You think I'm monotone now? Yo, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Jam, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this nigga Blunder was hating in the comments, bro. Like, man. Oh, really? Yeah. You were like, oh, yeah. And you should have heard it, seen his comments. He was trying to sound intelligent. He was like, um, you know, the battle was, was rather good, but. Um, his narration. I was like, this nigga is just a disconnecting hater. And so from there, I Yo, was like, that is some hater shit. That is some hater shit. Uh, if if someone hated on my shit, it was a comment too. I would also try to sauce them up every time I saw them. <laughs> fuck that motherfucker. So for the longest, I was like, I do not fuck with this nigga, bro. Do not try to get me no collab. And so like, I was starting to don't grow. Don't try to put me on with that. No, fuck that nigga, man. You were a little. Bit, you were always like. Like, yeah. you got into the game earlier than me, so you had maybe 1,000, I had maybe 400 subs. But, like, if you had a certain, if you had over 100, you're kind of some semi-known in the community. And so, like, um... Yeah, that's so insane. It, it was, it was a while before me and Blunder, like, like, reconnected. It was, it was actually you, how did Joey, you and Joey meet to where... Because I remember, I think he featured you on Mosh Pit, or either either of that, or he featured you on his channel. It was something like that, and then that allowed you to yeah, get. Yeah, was just friends. Yeah, and then uh, I would just battle him for videos, or he'd battle me. Yeah, that's what it was. Cause I'm like, you got clout. So, like I remember you having a clout moment where I think even Shofu was fucking with you, and I've well, had I met Shofu. I I met Shofu before I met Joey. In fact, or no, around the same time I met Joey because Shofu was also in the IDM group. Shofu knew Hugo and CTC before you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shofu actually used to play PO, so he he knew these dudes. I mean, he always knew Joey, of course. Yeah. Um, but that's when I met Shofu and Pokemon King for life too. Um, PK. <laughs> Pokemon King for Yeah, I met them around 2013, um, and then. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I met Joey a little bit before that, but I met around the same time. Um, and Shofu was always really cool guy. Um, and back in 2013, Shofu was like, he was the one. Yeah, yeah. The equivalent yeah, right? of so, like... But, but Shofu was never a, a, a... Like, I never had any bad experience with him. He was never a dick, always chill guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always cool, even back then. Um, and back then, that shit was like epic to me because I was like, holy, holy fuck, shit, this is my this favorite. Is yeah. Like, like, this, this, is like uh, <laughs> this guy is like the reason I, I play Pokemon. Yeah. Like, Shofu's the GOAT. And, but yeah, he was cool. I remember he was good. He was good at Mons too. Yeah, he uh, was back in black and white. Yeah. He was nice on the ladder. I remember he sauced me up. Um, nah, he was he was legit back then, like legitimately. Yeah, legit, yeah. And so, but in the Pokemon scene, I didn't really have clout for a minute. Like I didn't ha I didn't really have subs or a, 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 a strong viewer base until Hita Fajita. I'd say. I mean, I had a viewer base. Not like I had people watching me, but my shit didn't pop until I'd say Hita Fajita. Like. Because I only had like 10k subs for the first about three years of uploading yeah. or something, I'd say. Yeah, I know you're here for either moment, but I was thinking like around the time where, because remember, we're leaving out like the whole like Wild Chase era, battling on oh, stream, yeah. MBZ. Yeah, and shit. so that's, well, that's all like VG chat era, yeah. Yeah, like that was, and so like you were, because I remember I had, um, we were super inconsistent back in the day if you think back like we were mad inconsistent like even joey joey would upload three times a week like that was the standard daily uploads was not a thing uh and videos beyond 15 minutes <laughs> were not a thing so like we're talking like 
like all the way back. PO lives used to be ten minutes. People yeah. don't realize yeah, like ten minute 18, lives. 18, sometimes eighteen minutes, like ten to eighteen minutes. Like, didn't give a fuck. A Wi-Fi bell, eight minutes. Three crazy. Three times a week. If you go to ten minutes, you're fucking up. Literally. You want me to watch a fifteen minute Wi-Fi bell? You tripping? Tripping. But Max Protect versus Shofu was the the greatest game of all time at the time. It should it should it should was a movie. Yeah, and I think that was like thirty minutes. And at the time, Shofu was like, yeah. "Yo, this is long, bro." So if you know he's yeah. saying thirty minutes is long, when now we upload shit sometimes two hour videos, not even think about yeah. it. Um, but nah, like so blunder transition from. So you met Shofu first, and I'm assuming Shofu introduced you to Joey. No, I met Joey in the IDM chat, and I met Shofu around the same time in the IDM chat. I kind of always just met these guys because they would get added to the group. Um, I, I would so, I, but like the initial people I, I talked to the most was like Case, CTC, Moet. But uh, as far as like getting known in the YouTube community, um. I don't know. I don't know if I even really was known like that in the YouTube community, dude. Like, I don't know. I feel like I just had my PO group that kind of uh, had some type of, you know, YouTube connection. Um, and then I just did my shit with YouTube until I kind of popped off by the time 2015, 2016 came around. And it was a whole different game at that point in terms of YouTube, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like the old was out and the new had come in. Now it's like, you know, I look back at these accounts like Flaming Spade and all that shit that was around when we were there. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit, like that account only has sixty, seventy thousand subs. I think back and I was like, that was felt like, like it had uh, felt like it had like a million uh, subs. Million. Yeah, that was the equivalent yeah. of like, you know, if people say inflation, you know, like that was back then. Like if you have. 50,000 sub, you have the equivalent of 500,000 today. Like, you were massive in the community. Um, and so that's why I'm like, while you weren't, like, you know, where you are now, obviously, you were still with, in reason of, like, what was in the space known. So I'm not saying you were, like, you were daily uploading or anything like that. But as far as, like, if somebody were like, oh, Blunder... You know, it was around the time Chimp Pack, because remember, Chimp had around the same around of, amount of subs. Chimp, yeah. Chimp didn't have no big sub, but Chimp Pack was a known like household name. Like, um, who else? Gator, Gator's lies household name, and Gator didn't have. Gator maybe had five thousand subs for the longest, and so, yeah. and so that's why I was like, okay, because I remember, I remember vividly. Um, you didn't do daily uploads, but you had like your Wi-Fi bell, five five hours. And also, remember when you did that UU run, like the ladder to the top thing? Remember that? Yes, yes, yes. So shit, I remember shit. that. Even I didn't remember that until you just brought that up. That's nuts. I do remember now. And that's when yeah, man. Fuga was like popping. Remember that? That's when Am Fuga was the terror of the ladder. Fuga was like Unfuck, yeah. all lower Unfuck tiers. Like you, you're not fucking with Fuga back then. With a ball on the ladder, <laughs> like genius. Seriously, genius. Mm -hmm. And he was like super. I think that's what impressed so many people with him. He was super young. You know, he was maybe young, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was eleven or twelve because he was even younger than me, and I was the youngest kid at the time. Yeah. And Am Fuga was even younger than me, and uh, Am Fuga was cool because he. He was so fucking creative. Mm -hmm. that he, was, he was definitely a genius in some way uh, when it comes to Mons. The way he used to think and shit. Like, yeah. yeah. And now he's a fucking Smash Dawn. Oh, he, Wally SSVM. Oh, he, fucking crazy. He's killing the Smash now? Yeah, bro. He's damn near top 100 in Melee. It's incredible. Oh, you know? That's what's up. That's what, you know, it, yeah. like, people don't even know Fuga Mastery of, and Afro. Mastery of two games. That's what I'm saying. That's one of the best Pokemon players. Like... <laughs> nah, Fugo was a beast. He is responsible for so many inventions in the game. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's weird to think back because I think, oh dude, oh shit, I don't know if you were around. Oh fuck, because I'm about to bring it. Because I'm like, what happened to Fuga? Remember, Fuga deleted deleted his channel, but 
and this is on some Illuminati shit it feels like <laughs> many don't know like so it got to a point where we were low key like that's what I'm saying like bro we had uh yeah yeah but like you gotta remember like we had like like we we there was like a conglomeration and this was around when the drezo chat was like huge like if you yeah. if you weren't in that chat you were like a nobody quote unquote like yeah that's the thing you also had to click because that that's always been a thing with mons you had to have a click and back then it was funny because we really did not give a fuck about anybody else like we just liked our chat mm-hmm. and we were just chilling there and calling there but you'd have to have a fire chat and so it was drezo and the idm chat and those chats were both fire yeah on skype yeah and because it was like okay if once and then you had like your other like you know more secluded chats mm-hmm. like i had a chat with uh obviously like pone and then we had another friend named shards i remember shards. i, don't know I if remember you... shards yeah shards was mad and keo and keo yeah. as well oh, fuck those fuck. Were, brings me so back um and so i had a chat with them um i used to dm ctc a ton because i was like my best friend of course um so yeah, talking to CTC a shit ton, uh, just Skype. Yeah, man, shit was nuts. Damn. Skype was such a shit program, man. <laughs> but it was a, it was people. life back then with the midnight, bro. It was life it was life. Guys, we used to be in call. Like we used to play so much. That's why I tell people like, yo, get your games in. Man, we used to play so much fucking. Mo- like, I don't think I understand how much we know life when we were uh, in the in the grind. Like I don't <sighs> think they understand. Like I'm talking like morning we get up but we wouldn't even sleep we would go to bed at six in the morning get up at one and then some people would get up early like some people don't slept never pk would never sleep and PK would never sleep and so we'd hop back on oh aj you won you know, blunder you won you know who else, you know who else would never sleep problems he would always be on true fucking all the probs always on true. ctt always on ctc would join in class and it was so fucking fun yeah it was so fun yeah every time we had time to kill the call because our chat had 40 to 50 mans oh fuck you're and, right you're right because we and, merged and, and, and idm and um drezo and, 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 uh, and people had beef but oh, yeah i mean like but like shit for the most part you just you just did just did your own thing and you didn't get on anyone's nerves and it was oh, like man and then Joey added MV, and initially we didn't like MV because of the whole like you know him scamming on the ladder for draws. But then <laughs> he grew on us, and so MV had maybe a thousand subs, if that. It's crazy to look back, but like I'm not even going. We could go all day on shit like just just history shit, which is like just hitting the nostalgia hard right now. But like, yeah. So for the um, I'm gonna jump to because we could touch on Hita Fajita, but we'll do that in another pod. But like, let's touch on the agency because I actually was mad and active um, when the That's agency true. was around. So I wasn't around for what this was, and so what what birthed the agency and the mogul, the the empire that you have currently with that. Well, the agency was always like a thing, but so my boy Sama. I don't even know if you've nah, met Sama. Nah, I haven't. I haven't. But he's a he's obviously a fan. Um of yours but yeah oh, he so Sama, me. my boys yeah, yeah he's a fan of yours okay, of course I didn't know. Where, where did you meet uh, Sama? how do you know Sama? me and Sama met like three years ago on discord Sama is a f- uh was w- watches my vids he was like a fan of my videos or a supporter or whatever uh-huh. um but i met Sama on discord through my discord and uh i mean just the same way you meet anyone right like it was just talking about some shit. it was mad funny it's just and we became friends because he was cool um and then me and sama became good ass friends Mm -hmm. um and so that was like one of my friends that just wasn't involved in smogon and stuff because sama played pokemon but like i just like he didn't care about smogon or anything Mm -hmm. and so then i had sama on my oupl team when i managed and uh we just became better friends that way but anyway um i used to talk to sama just a shit ton Mm -hmm. uh and i still do and he was like he would always say the agency the agency shout outs the agency the agency taking care of your channel and shit like that and it was so funny and he would always just say the agency and he would always leave comments on my channel on his account and his account would be called like sama 8219 some bullshit (laughs) and he would leave comments and he would sign them dash the agency Uh. and so then the 2019 summer came around 
and he kept signing stuff to agency and it was so funny and i was like fuck it we're gonna introduce the agency here and so then i was like this is the agency and so then we created the agency logo as the pyramid one day mm -hmm. because i was ranking all the agents which are like you know the rare pokemon mm -hmm. and we did it on a pyramid to do like a tiering system and i was like wait this looks pretty hard let's make this shit the logo yeah. so the logo we made together on photoshop one day just screen share making a thumbnail for a video like we just made it ourselves um <laughs> and then yeah uh from there we just like had all the lore and everything and it was like making a whole new series in a sense and uh Nah, you blew. We dropped the merch. Like, you you were doing numbers uh, last summer. Yeah. Like yeah, for real. Like the engagement was mad. Again, I wasn't around all summer. I'm trying to remember what. Oh yeah, now I remember. No, 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 that wasn't that summer. Um, but but yeah, like I just remembered that I came back and I'm like, what's the age? I remember saying that. So I wasn't around uploading or anything like that. I'm like, what? the agency what's that like what's going on you know yeah um and to this day i'm still kind of we've not haven't had an unofficial conversation till now about what the hell the agency is but now i'm starting to oh. understand like okay it was you know i thought it was just a, the next hita fajita so i didn't know what you know no the agency is fire <laughs> no but you know it was good so we like um so that's how we built up the agency and that was more fun because it was more inclusive of just like everything yeah in a sense and i was also getting very tired of smogon that's about the time i quit smogon um just because i was like okay i've competed here for four or five years now um you had I've won played every uh, you had won smog tour by then right i won smog yeah. tour the year before i had just come off my spl loss uh remember you mean i the, went like 10 two or nine and two the, the but i lost up? in the finals yeah okay, i lost in the finals yeah. so that was tough and then at that point i was like okay i've played every tournament you knew me when I used to sign up for every right, single right, thing right. trying to get a trophy. Right. So at that point, I was like, dude, like I, I won. Like I, I, I don't know what else I need to do. I just had the best SPL season I could have had. Mm -hmm. I lost SPL, which sucked, but I was like, I don't know what else to do now. Um, and so I was like, okay, well. Um, and I had also not uploaded or played for about a month. And then I came back, posted my games, and I was like, okay, I want to start posting some more oh, interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah. I remember that people were saying, oh, he quit because the SPL loss was and lost. so embarrassing. And I, was like, yeah. I was like, y'all got me fucked up. I did not quit because I lost. <laughs> but uh, I did not quit because I lost. Then I, I came back, I posted those games because I was like, y'all suckers. I did not, like, yo, who y'all think this is? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, this, I posted those shit. Didn't Joey I, uh, get you to, um, weren't you slacking and Joey had to, was that that round day? Well, I was finishing school. Okay, that's And I knew I, I would come back. And then I just posted the day my school ended. And, uh, um, and then I came back home. Boy was whipped, y'all. Yeah. I'll be I'll be real with y'all. Boy was whipped. Nah, go ahead. I was going I was I was going through it. I was going through it. Yeah, I had yeah. too much going on that April. I'll tell you one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got into a fight with my girl at the time right before I lost the 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 the, the tiebreaker. Yeah. So her ass obviously put me in a bad mood making me lose the finals, but whatever. Um it's a little story that I'll tell you, you know. <laughs> The excuse after but the fact. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't be making excuses, but you know, it's pretty good what it is. Right. But anyway. Oh yeah, you were with that, that crazier one. I forgot. <laughs> you know, we're not we're not gonna talk about well, you know what I'm talking about, but like I forgot that there was her before uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, there's a <laughs> right, right, life is crazy. Right, right. <laughs> but um yeah, so I so then the agency came to be and then basically the agency we were just it was just a, a better way to be like creative with Pokemon. Mm-hmm and now it's basically become way more like inclusive and it's just like it's the move now it's like you know i love it yeah and it's gonna be past pokemon at some point too 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. like like pokemon is lit i love it but like i want to take agency farther than it can go it's past, it's not just like a clothing brand or anything like that either like i want to see what i can do with it make it like encompassing of a bunch of uh uh but yeah it's it's I like it though. I like it a lot. Um, I got a lot of stuff planned. Tournaments, other games, Smash. Uh, I want to truly try to turn this into some esports type thing. Nah, that's, that's what's uh, up, dude. Like, like yeah. I didn't even think about that as far as like, but that's already a super cool name, you know. Like as far as like, if there was an esports. Yeah, and team. shit, and shit, just like it just keeps coming into fruition. The production value of my stuff has been going up. I mean, I got this like Nike thing going yeah. on. It's like stuff just like keeps on, like coming into fruition that I, I haven't even been like expecting and it's like 
I need to take this seriously and see because I uh I plan to just quit YouTube um or not plan to quit YouTube but like I just never really cared mm -hmm. and then um the agency was always something fun we made up uh and then I was like wait a minute this is actually pretty lit and like we've taken Pokemon and just gaming in a good direction with this mm -hmm. like and there's way more to do like it's more than just like clothing or like a Pokemon thing yeah yeah actually yeah. you're right because I mean I'm thinking I think people don't realize how many times like because i didn't know we weren't talking that much around that time it's like i wasn't i just wasn't around like one thing you know you guys can say there have been eras where and this was going way back to skype days your boy would just disappear like for like four months and then just pop back up yo we back what's good what's what's the new minds blah 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 and so that would happen quite a few times throughout my youtube journey if, um, you know that's nothing new to y'all um Mm -hmm. and, but that's just because I don't like it's never been like I knew I'd never be a YouTuber. And so because I always knew that, like I've tried to leave several times and that's how the book came about. You know, I always said to people like initially that was my exit. Like I'm like, OK, you know, I want to give everybody everything I've learned. And so that yeah. it can be, you know, so it's not it doesn't feel like it was just a waste of time being out here. Exactly. But then the book revived everything and now i'm building out a motherfucking website that's gonna yeah like so it's like shit like that change the game like, exactly. literally exactly um so that's why i relate really very much with your oh the agency was kind of like well the agency yeah, wasn't it, a quitting thing but like you thought about it just it, it wasn't as important to me as it is now it's just like it's like that you know yeah like shit is way more important to me now i care a lot more about my my channel and just a lot of like i still like like i don't know um i am like the same person but it's just like uh i have i put more of an importance on it but it's a good thing like i i understand the value that like my channel and all this stuff brings mm -hmm. and what i can do with it as well when the bread started coming in he's like oh hold the fuck up hold yeah, the when fuck that up checks, when that hold check the fuck when, up. That, when that check started him <laughs> at age 17 when that heat up and heat check came in the mail oh, i started moving different nah, nah. but like that, that's that's dope man because it's crazy thinking about you know we didn't touch on the heat of heat of heat era that'll be another yeah. time guys but like you know we could go on for hours about like it, just having this conversation has really made me respect the journey and beyond just that the fact that you know the relationships with joey you um you know chris i have known chris for a minute i don't really think about that a lot but then you started mentioning i'm like i've known chris for a minute too uh, yeah dude i've known everybody in the heat of chat known for nearly seven to eight years right like i don't even have i i don't think i have any IRL friend that i've known longer than y'all like other than no because i met my my best friend now in college and so, like, yeah. from the high school days, I don't fuck with any of those guys. Not in, like, a disrespectful way, but, like, that's just the reality. I, I don't know. I remember my first year of high school. I had my friends and stuff, but my best friends were definitely the friends I met online. Um, my best friends are friends I've had since I was, like, a kid. But um, I didn't hang out with them that much in the beginning of high school. And I remember I was pretty fine with it because I'd be on the, I'd be on the internet a shit ton. Exactly. My months. I'd be like, who gives a fuck, like? It what it is. I like school. I have fun at school, and now I can come home and play on my computer. That's exactly how it was. It was like yo, yeah. boom, and we'd be on here. Like, I'm talking, ah ha ha, we're, like we be in calls for like nine hours. Like, like yeah, my parents be like, shut the fuck up, go to sleep. Yeah, like, and I'd be like bad, Sorry. bad shit. Yeah. Like, you know, but like I, you know, looking back now, that's why y'all with the agency, whether it be the agency, the academy, whatever, you know, these people, you don't think about it now, but like. Like, don't ever let anybody tell you that fucking, oh, why are you talking to, like, a person, whether it's behind a computer screen, whether it's behind, people are people, you know what I mean? There are yeah. people who are in real life, so to speak, that you just don't click with. So why limit yourself to strictly, uh, say, if you, if you find people in a group and y'all are, like, boys, like, boys, boys, and y'all connect and blah, 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 then that's all there is to that, um. Like fuck yeah. the oh you know it has to be in real life and if it's not in real life you know that's cool too like you know I have plenty of IRL friends da 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 um, 
the one thing you can't, you know, is IRL pussy isn't gonna cut it. I mean, <laughs> internet pussy, but you can't can't do nothing with that. But you're gonna need to get that IRL. But other than that, um, nah, guys, yeah. like, like Joey's one of my best best blunder. You know, like, you know, I, I'm not gonna go into detail, but like, you know, the past couple months ago, I felt I got to know blunder. Far more, I think we've gotten a lot yeah. cooler. Definitely. Far more a couple of months ago than like all the other years combined. Because I think it, much like with Joey, when that was before me and Blunder, you know, I think we got to the point where it's not like a Pokemon conversation. It's on some real shit. So we got to know each other as people outside of Mons. Um, and he's. And again, you guys have very little context for this, but just trust me. And I said, very good dude. Like, you know, under all the bullshit, the Twitter and whatnot, <laughs> like, you know, like, that's just, that's just, you know, the entertainment. Like, that's that's what it is. That's the thing. But like, True. one of the most solid dudes you meet behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like, so, it. so like. Sure up. You too. Yeah. And it's good, man. Like, it's crazy where, like, how much we always talk about this like how much we got out of this game this scene all that stuff mm -hmm. and how much you can like build off of it and it's like it's crazy now to see like how it's uh kind of happening and also at like where we are as well as people and how we wouldn't have even expected it yeah. yet but it's like it's it's lit like it's a comfortable feeling that's actually part of the reason that's something you touched on something just now i think forever dude and even to this day i i, I just last week i had to consciously like eliminate this thought but like i think for the longest i wasn't it was as if i'm like no matter how much i i try to quit and da, 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 and i'd only try to quit because i'm like you know i should be doing something else with this time it was always mm -hmm. an i should but it, the game i couldn't leave right and so for the longest it was almost like a battle of Ah, oh, it's not that important. I should quit. Blah blah blah. Whatever. I'll leave. I'd come back. Leave. Come back. And I think it wasn't until the past probably year and a half where it really hit me. Cause then I'd get comments or PMs unrelated to Pokemon. This is around when I graduated high school. I mean college. Yeah. And I really started to to as you said, like realize maybe for you, the agency, cause I always said to, to Joey, like blunder, if he went into marketing would be like, I think he's a good marketer. Um, yeah. And so like, that could be a skill set He doesn't even know he has, he's doing it, but he doesn't know he's doing it. Um, 100%. And so like, I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, what, what core thing do I keep coming back to this game for and every time, bro? It's like, yo, like I gotta, I gotta let the people know that that they are tripping. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? that's literally what like comes like you are tripping right now. If you think you can't get to fifteen hundred, like you are tripping right now. And so like I am obsessed, exactly. obsessed with helping and people see that that they don't realize that they're caging themselves. And remember those conversations we'd have, right? And it's like, of course. And even I think of back when I was on my road to growth like because like i remember you uh helped me a lot mm -hmm. in ORS when i went on to becoming like one of the best players or whatever but like there's always players better than you yeah um and i remember in ORS, i always said you were better than me and you helped me a lot in uh doing team building stuff and like i mean it got to a point where i would use your teams right after you used mm -hmm. them and i still whoop ass and like I remember uh, using your superior Talonflame team after you used it, yeah. winning with it because it was that solid. Using the Charizard Mew Doug Trio team, mm -hmm. remember that I shit? Remember. I was like, "Yo, I need a team. I have to win this game versus Ray Scarface. Yeah. Give me the shit." Oh, you fucking! And you were like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, the Ray Scarface." I, oh, yes, shit. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I washed this oh, shit. I washed bro. this shit with your team. Oh, I forgot about. I remember. I remember you thinking, "I can't lose to Ray, bro. Not not him." <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, "Oh, that guy has beef with all of IDM. I have to sauce him." And you were like, "Use my Duck Trio team," and I murdered. Murdered. Him. I like, yeah, I remember that. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Shout out Ray, man. Nah. That's my boy now. But back then, like, when beefs like that existed, right? Yeah. Like, it was like, I can't lose this, dude. I have to win this shit. My, my life is over. If I, you know, CTC uh, would be the king of beef, surf, beef surfing. CTC would be beefing with a hundred niggas in that, right? Yeah, <laughs> and, and he would tell you to pull up in tournament, too. He was nice, though. He didn't care. Yeah. CTC, he, I remember lefties. Him and CTC had crazy beef. And then CTC was like, stop all the bullshit. I'm going to come to Gen 6OU and play you in tournament. And CTC fucked his shit oh, up. Right. And, said, get the f and he said, get the oh, fuck yeah. out of here. Don't play this yeah, game again. Yeah, and yeah. then if you lose to Yeah, CTC, you can never, oh, yeah, you can <laughs> never <laughs> lose. That nigga will never let. Ten years later. Brr, brr, brr. Hello? Brr, brr. Nigga, nigga has kids. Base Lord. Base Lord. <laughs> little beat cook on you, bitch. <laughs> Nigga has kids. Like, yo, yo, you are so right, bro. Like, if you you could, CTC is the worst fucker to lose to. If you, if you you can never ever lose to that month. And and he'll and he'll never let you forget never. either. He'll beat you week one, and then week nine he'll be like, I don't know if this guy could win because he has lordophobia from week <laughs> one or some bullshit. Yo, see, yo, he's grown so like. I'm so happy yeah. to see him, like, looking back now, I'm like, man, like, even the fact that he requested he defeat us to get taken out, you know what I mean, like, yeah. like, he, I, the IDM channel videos are gone, like, there's so many, and I mean, it's not like, you know, we grow past it, so he technically could have left it up, but like, you know, he's evolved so much as a human, and so it's yeah. like, it's super dope to see, even though, like, it's rare I talk to CTC these days, but like, you know. That's still my people. Yeah. Like people don't know, you know, the newer people. Like because I'm so inconsistent upload wise or behind the scenes, like you were saying with the aura stuff, like people don't know like back in the day, like but before the book and all that, like I niggas would steal my shit. Like everybody would steal my yeah. shit. And everybody would which is where the memes and Blunder has a pretty big part people, to play in this. When my yeah, games would happen. Huh? Yeah, people would steal your teams like it was nothing. Like, but but what's crazy, and again, you, it, it was primarily you and my sub base, but I, I'd say because you were, like, I think people started to refer to you as the YouTuber blunder rather than the player blunder before you really started, like, clapping ass. Yeah. Um, yeah. My YouTube name was not the same as my small guy name, and people, so people oh, true. wouldn't associate, they, like, they knew I was a YouTuber, but they didn't. Uh, so they didn't think of me as a YouTuber when my name would pop up, and so like Blunder, bro, smoked the smoke to her days. Like Blunder would hop in that motherfucking chat, and I don't know if this happened before because I did. I was cool with Hugo and Blue and all them, and so I trained with the best. And so when I became like, you know, like in Oras, you were you weren't touching me. Like you know, I don't give a fuck who you were. Like you were yeah. not touching me, and so like then. Blunder would hop in the fucking chat. I remember it was SPL run. At this point, I was maybe 2030 or something. It was something yeah. like that. And we were teammates. We were teammates. It was your first SPL. Oh, we were teammates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, you, we were teammates. That's why. Bro, this man would come in yeah. the chat and be like, oh my, how does he know? And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I'd be talking mad shit because back then everybody on Smogon is a fucking hater. So if someone new is doing good, they'd be like, "Oh, he not that good. He not that good." And so I'd be like, "Oh, y'all need to shut the fuck right. up. Look how good this dude is. Uh, like, look at this dude. He beats all your favorite players. Y'all are trash. Easy win. Like, and and they would hate oh, that shit. They, they would mad. hate that shit. Oh. And I remember I I would talk so much shit. I'd be like, "Oh, look at this dude. Easy money. YouTubers <laughs> knocking over Smogon kids. Easy money. Like, uh, toxic shit." Yo, Blunder used to be. The it really it, you know, looking back like the worst in the smart George chat, but at the same time, I guess because he was on, on my side, I'm like, my nigga, like, but yeah, this nigga would, yeah. but like, I think yeah. it became a thing because when World Cup would come around and like, yeah, jam, yeah, your games became a spectacle, bro. Like, niggas would stop the mom calling, bro, mom, I gotta, which is funny looking back, I think. Because I always played World Cup, but I didn't always play SPL because SPL took so much time. But World Cup, three yeah. games, boom. But, like, my record, I'd never lose. And so people were like, yo, around, like, the third World Cup, they're like, I think niggas were just like, is he about to 6-0 this nigga or is he about to lose? And when, sh yeah. when shit got real, bro, because you like, remember when you put, you said in a chat, Finch was talking shit about me. That oh, was when thanks, shit got thanks. real. 
That was ex oh dude, there was nothing more exciting than beating somebody that you knew was talking this shit, and then it's like, mind you guys, get the fuck out Finch. Of me, we're cool now. Like it's not like this is <laughs> like four yeah, years ago. It was yeah, probably yeah. barely any shit talk back then. I was probably just looking for an excuse to cause some drama. I was like, yo, Jam, this dude said you were he, you weren't shit. Yeah, so now you have to body back. Nah, nah, he said Nador was the top in our team. Oh or yeah, and I was like, I was like Nador. <laughs> That's my little partner. I'm She's like, gonna get nigga, guys. I'm, but I'm, you know, jam, la uh, jam laid him out. I remember I was watching that on my phone at a wedding. Yeah. I saw the substance go up. I turned off my phone. I was like, "Oh, R.I.P. to my son." All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this. <laughs> Bro, those were such good times. But then everybody was lined up because I think you hyped up the Finch game too. He's like, "Oh, da 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 da." And so I didn't intend to six o. Six o's didn't matter no, in tournament. No, I didn't even watch the Finch game live. I was in Puerto Rico when that shit happened, and I remember I missed it, and someone DM'd me, they're like, dude, you have to watch Jam versus Finch. Jam beat this dude with a bunch of RUs, and I was like, man, you're smoking dick, and I looked up the replay, and I was like, yeah, oh, don't tell me this Magneton is gonna do <laughs> Yo, Magneton killed four mods. I was like, bro, I, go ahead. And I remember I saw, I saw your whole video of it, of the game, when you recorded over it, and I was like, yo, this is dirty. Oh, I remember that run. Was it the Sora run? No, no, no. Sora was a different World Cup. Because I remember that was the first time people really started being like... It wasn't Sora. It was 2016. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, you're right. That was the first time yeah. people were like, yo. Because I remember that Sora game. Sora was 2015. Yeah. Oh, my. You just started bringing back tour, Making me want to potentially... I know I'm not going to do it, but like... Someday, sometimes yeah. I'll be like looking at the sign up sheet. I'm like, you know, I should hop in SPL this year. Cause I oh, that's how I started playing. Cause I remember that SPL seven. Mm -hmm. So that's the one after you played when we teamed. I was like, man, everyone's so bad at OU. And I was telling you, I'm like, dude, they're all so bad. I don't like that they be calling all these. And I clearly remember I was like, yo, they be calling all these different players good, and they're all ass. And you were like, all right, then you should sign up if you think you're so hot. And I was like, man, fucking jam. <laughs> Who do you think you are? And I was like, I will sign up. Then you are. And I did that sign sounded up, like some shit I'd say like back then too. You were, you were like, damn it! If you nice, sign up then. And I was like, oh, so you think I'm lying? <laughs> I, was like, I am nice. <laughs> Yo, bro, I was, I, I was a piece of shit. Like I had my piece of shit ways back. I'm thinking, I'm like, I was the biggest troll. Like, like I love <laughs> seeing CBB and Blunder. Oh, I get the oh, nigga so you, mad. Yeah, you'd get CBB hell. Oh, CBB Poor would CBB. rage. Like, I'm talking, <laughs> he probably split some shit. Like, I'm like, easy win. Ha ha, fuck. Like, I would make him mad. And CBB has a temper like no other. Like, no other. Like. Yeah, you a fucking <laughs> dickhead, Jam. But, nah, nah. Good time. <laughs> Remember when we met SG? We met SG quit. Oh, yeah. Because we were in that NUPL. And we were, it was me, you, Pwn. Oh, man. We made SG say, fuck this shit. We called them bald. <laughs> it was like, shut up, bald. Oh, my. Yo, oh this my. shit. I'm just like, just some internet gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Bro, that shit brings back so many memories, Fucking man. keyboard gangbangers. Yeah. I remember those days. Oh, fuck. Yo, yo, guys. You know, Blunder, we gotta go soon. I, we'll have to... Call it the 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 throwback chronicles. Uh, I'll have Joey next or some shit, and we, we'll, but because this really, and we'll do another episode for sure. Yeah, this really, Damn, this really, this shit brings me yeah, back. yeah. It makes me appreciate mine. It makes me want to go record a lot. I'm gonna record a lot after this. Uh, I, it does make me appreciate. It does make me want to record. It makes me want to look at old replays and stuff. Yeah. I might just, I might, I might just do that. One day we got, one day we were, we got to record something like that. Looking back at some old stuff. Yeah, just, to come just up. hit me up. Just hit me up. We can. Yeah. We can. Facts. Oh, it's the greatest game. Remember the, uh, before we head out, the fucking Riku game. Remember that? Oh, a classic, man. I had to have you prep me up completely. Oh, fuck. You know which game I just saw the replay of? Which game? You versus Ben Gay. The first when one. When he had Altaria. Oh yeah, it yo, was Altaria, bro, that shit goes down in his like that game yeah, was mad that's hard. One of the, that's that, that's one of the best games ever. That shit is so epic, bro. That my, nigga, I was one thing people don't know, and like, bro, like uh, in those games, like you know how analytical I am when I'm recording. I'm actually more aware when I'm recording than when I'm like, cause 
people don't know when you're in a tour game mad pressure so your brain is like like super fucking like there's a ton of blood rushing to your brain and you're like super focused and so like yeah. trying to handle the pressure of like especially when you're like the the, the one expected to win so like mm-hmm. if you're playing race car face or you know what i'm saying like blunder yeah. knows like i can't lose this game like if i lose this fucking game like it's over i gotta yeah. come off like i gotta leave for a week like i cannot facts 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 i can't lose to someone that all of my guys have beef with it just it just can't happen can't. like literally it just it, can't it simply cannot happen could yeah. not come back to the chat like he could exactly. not come back to the chat if i have to go cool out for a little bit Thanks. Yeah, if you're playing, if if you're playing someone's enemy or vice versa or your own enemy, you better win. You better win. Like I remember when CBB, whenever someone plays somebody that beat me too, and it's my friend, I really want them to win. It's it's just how it is. Of course. Oh, you were a piece of trash for talking to when when you have CBB played and you crushed him. Like you were an asshole for that. But you know y'all are boys, so you could do that. But like, Facts. true. Blunder was like, oh yeah, yeah. Clapped you, uh, six zero meta champ, uh huh, you know. So then, oh, facts. I, well, that was only when I trolled him because he'd be like, "You're so ass," and I'd be like, "If I was so ass, CDD, why would I do it to you on the big stage <laughs> like that?" And I'd, I'd say shit like that all the time. Yo, where's CDD? Oh, I love good? CDD. We, I'm we need to get bit. him on for a, a podcast episode because that's an absolute legend. Yeah, like people be sleeping on man. We we gotta get like the whole. We need to. I'm gonna have like a like a group like just memory lane shit. Cause that like there's shit that happened from your perspective and your experiences that I didn't know about. There's shit that happened with me that I don't remember. There's like Joey, CBB, Chris. You just gonna have like a gang kind of like the history of the competitive world like type shit. Um, and we just have one big podcast and just talk about that. Yeah. So hit the like button down below if you want to see that. If anything less than 300 likes, I'm not doing it. All right. Not doing not it. Not doing it. But not. Nah, thanks for watching, everybody, or listening. Uh, I'm going to let Blunder go, and I got to get started. Yeah. Uh, see you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, y'all. Peace.